We got him. What's going on everybody and welcome back to Islanders Daily. Today we are talking about the top prospect for the Islanders this season. Now, from the intro, you all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> he is a top-notch KHL goaltender who is coming over to get his first shot at the NHL. It is Ilya Sorokin. Now, the six foot two, 172 pound goaltender was is 26 years old now as he was drafted 78th overall in the 2014 draft. The Islanders had a few uh, other semi-notable picks in that draft, but the big deal was, as time went on, who will Sorokin become? Will he become an, a goaltender that stays in the KHL his entire career, or will he blossom? And ladies and gentlemen, I think he blossomed. All right, so we're going to go over his numbers now and decide for ourselves what we think could happen if he ends up on the NHL roster. So in the 2015 season in the KHL, his first season, knowing he's an Islander, he was 3-2 and two in six games. He put up a 937 save percentage and had a 1.31 goals against average, which is very good. It's a very good starting point, and it's really good for a goaltender. Um, that's great numbers, and it's really hard to beat a goaltender like that. And... I think that's a great start. But then the next year, he tops it. In 28 games, he has 17 and 7, and he has a 953 save percentage and a 106 goals against average. That is one of the best goaltenders in the league, in the, in the KHL. Da by far. By far, that is one of the best goaltenders in the league. Meaning, Sorokin is already off to a booming start. Okay. The next year in 39 games, he puts up a 25-7 and record, meaning the other games he probably just came in as a relief or whatever. He had a 9-29. Oof. Sorokin, where are you at, man? And he had a 161 goals against average, which for him isn't too great, but it's still really good. And remember, at this point, he's only 21, 20, 21, 22, and he's already putting up these nasty numbers. At 20 years old, he put up a 9-37. Think about that. That is crazy. And now we get ourselves to the 18-19 season where he played 40 games. He was 28-6, and six, and he had a 940 save percentage and a 116 goals against average. There you go, Ilya. You're back. All right, so that is another amazing year. And that just continues to prove to people, wow, this Sorokin guy might not be bad. And he just continues to get better. And after that 953, he had a little bit of a slump and then bounces right back. And his slump is my never. It's my never. So who are we to talk, to be honest? And in the 1920 season, he had 40 games played. He was 26 and 10, his first time hitting 10 losses in, an, in his entire career. And he had a 935 save percentage and a 150 goals against average, which is really good. And again, he's still only 26 years old. He was 25 at the time, putting up nasty numbers like that. He has a long and amazing career ahead of him, but is it in the NHL? He won the KHL championship in 2019, but he had a very good team in front of him. Teams that couldn't be stopped. He had a really good scoring team with great defense. It was an all-around very well-built team. And with Sorokin backing them up, it's pretty much impossible for them to lose that championship. He is really good when he has a great team behind him. We don't know how he is when he has a bad team behind him. But when he has a good team behind him, we know he's stellar. And the Islanders, if they can be a good team next season, which they're projected to be, they can really help him improve and really welcome him to the NHL scene. And in my opinion, the KHL is only one step down from the NHL. I think it's the second best league in the world. If I'm really thinking about it, there's a little bit of a rule gap and some culture shock to deal with. But I think by the middle of next season, he can be really solid. Um, I imagine he can put up a 9-10 in his first season in the NHL. That really wouldn't surprise me. And if they pick him as the playoff starter, if they make the playoffs, I wouldn't hate that either. I think he's a really good goaltending prospect, and I think he can really go far. It just doesn't seem like the kind of career that's going to flop. He has a bad season, which is a 929, which would probably be like a 900 in the NHL, which is like, oof, okay. <sniffs> Bops it right back. In my opinion, Sorokin could have been playing since 2018, if he really wanted to be. He could have came over. I think the Islanders have been interested in him for a few years, and he was like, you know what? 
I think I'd rather rock in the KHL than be better than average in the NHL. And uh, can't imagine Lou Lamarello was too happy about that answer. But what are you going to do? However, his contract is up in the KHL, and he decided to sign a one-year, $2 million deal with the New York Islanders to come over and play for us next season. Now, as an Islander fan, and on behalf of all the other Islander fans, welcome, Amelia. I wish you all the best of luck. And But it seems with your numbers, you really don't need luck to be successful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, go down below and like and subscribe. And uh, I'll probably be back later. I'm on a video recording roll right now. So I will see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye.